When you take on the responsibility of becoming a dog owner, there is one thing that is paramount, your dog's safety. Everything revolves around you providing your dog with a safe environment and doing the things to help your dog feel safe. There are many things that new dog owners don't understand are safety concerns. You have to think about things like the type of food your dog eats. Some dogs are allergic to certain things. There are certain foods that dogs can't have. You have to understand things like your house plants. There are certain plants that are deadly and toxic to your dog. Those are the type of things that many new dog owners don't really understand. So as a dog owner, it's on us to learn every day what we need to do to help make our dogs or help keep our dogs safe. I'm Jack All Trade, Boston firefighter, owner and creator of Tug and Go. And I've been making dog toys for the past 10 years. As a Boston firefighter, I know a little bit about public safety. I know a little bit about safety. And that's one of the reasons why I came to a place like this. One of the most visually unsafe places to talk about dog safety. As a responsible dog owner, it is up to us to keep our dogs safe. It is our primary objective, keeping our dogs safe. The way our dogs interact with us, the way our dogs interact with their world, and the way they interact with other people engaging them in that world. It is up to us to do what we have to do to keep our dogs safe. There are many things that you need to learn. You're never gonna know all the things you need to know right from the beginning. So number one, don't be arrogant. Understand that it's an ongoing learning process. And you can't know it all, so sometimes you need to ask for help. You need to do the research, and first and foremost, you need to want to be a good dog owner. Because many of the things that happen to our dogs, whether they're bad behaviors or they're just getting into mischief, those that's our responsibility. You have to remember, it's never your dog's fault. It's on us as responsible dog owners to understand how to help our dogs navigate their world. And the better you get at that, the better your dog will be, the happier your dog will be, the safer your dog will be. So remember, constantly keep learning. Don't be arrogant. Ask for help when you need it. I'm back in the workshop, nice and safe. I guess there's no need for the ceiling to fall in on my head or me to fall through the floor or to continue this conversation on dog safety. I can leave that for the nine to five, the day job. But as a dog owner, it is one of our most important things that we can do is making sure our dogs are safe. And when it comes to making sure our dogs are safe, there are a couple of components to that. Making sure your dog is safe is also making sure your dog understands they're safe. Because if you have a dog that doesn't believe they're safe, doesn't believe that you're there as their advocate, they're going to act out much more often. And one of the things that happens when you don't emphasize dog safety, you put your dog in a situation where they are much more likely to be rehomed or sent to a shelter. Many of the dogs that end up in that constant cycle of being rehomed or being shelter dogs are just dogs that Weren't, weren't understood, weren't trained properly. They didn't have an owner that understood how to re-engage, redirect, break the bad habits, add good habits. And a lot of times when we do that, we set our dogs up for failure. And when we set our dogs up for failure, it ultimately is an unsafe environment. And I don't mean just because they may become aggressive, they may act out, they may be unsafe in just an everyday environment it could be unsafe for your dog because it could lead to your dog being terminated if your dog is constantly rehomed and those bad characteristics are ingrained and then they become kind of a concrete way that your dog they, they just become internalized which makes it much more difficult 
for the average person to be able to train out those bad behaviors. And when that's the case, a rehoming tends to lead to the dog being surrendered to a shelter. Some shelters are good. Some shelters know how to deal with dogs with issues. There's a chain of people that come in that know what they're doing when they're looking for a dog. But some of the shelters end up being kill shelters also. So by you not doing what you need to do in the training department and in the safety department, it could lead to your dog or a dog. I'm not going to say your dog because I'm hoping that anyone listening to this is going to be a little bit better than the average person when it comes to working through a problem. But there are a lot of people who don't give a problem enough time to be resolved. I'm not going to say resolve itself because that's never, never the case. You always have to work to resolve the issues. And sometimes people are way too quick to say, this dog is a problem. This dog is this, this dog is that, which leads to one of the pieces of core philosophies that I want to give to the people watching this channel is it's never the dog's fault. And I'm going to say that again. It's never the dog's fault. It's always on us to do what we need to do to resolve the problems that we see. The quicker we work on those problems, the better outcome we'll have in dealing with those problems. There are definitely some problems that you're probably not going to be able to completely eradicate, but there are very few problems that I can't see or I can't think of that with proper care, proper training, proper help, you can't make better. And the majority of the problems you can make a lot better. And if you can't, there's the one thing that is the trump card in all of it. If you can't figure out a way to work through and work out a problem with your dog, then you have to figure out how to live with that dog that has that problem. And what I mean is you cater the way you interact with the dog and the world. Sometimes we are the people that need the training and need to change. So again, I'm going to say it's never your dog's fault. Any problem that your dog has, it's on us. We have to internalize it. But if you understand that and you realize that training, constant work, just trying to be a better dog owner is all that's needed in order to become a better dog owner, you'll understand that there's no need to overcomplicate the dog owning process. Want to be a better dog owner? Try to be a better dog owner and learn every day how to be a better dog owner. And all of a sudden, you'll be a better dog owner. So again, I have to say, as a responsible dog owner, keeping your dog safe is your number one priority. Thank you for listening. This is Let's Talk Tug. And hope to see you in the next one.